am Kenny Anderson, Director of Multicultural Affairs for the City of Huntsville, and welcome to Impact. Each week we bring you information about exciting things that are happening right here in this community, and today will be no different. You know, for over 40 years, the Interfaith Mission Service has been advocating for people to come together in unity in our community around those issues of division that usually tend to divide us. This organization has been a pioneer in this effort in this community, and every year they find an opportunity to celebrate their successes while they assess where they're headed in the future. Today we're going to be talking with two individuals that represent that organization and so much more. First of all, we have Mr. Aladdin Bashir with us today. I should say Dr. Aladdin Bashir. Let be respectful to this man here. Thank He's you, chairman sir. of the IMS Leadership Council and also chair of the Human Relations Council for the city of Huntsville. Welcome to the broadcast. Thank you, sir, and appreciate you taking the time. It's always good to have you. You always come bringing great information and bearing great news. Thank you, sir. This organization means a lot to me personally. Yes, indeed. Because the mission really is about bringing people together in a common ground. That's right. Something that we share and something that we promote throughout this city in so many different ways. You're also here with Willie Love. He's co-chair of the IMS Membership Committee, mm -hmm. which means he's always busy, tr busy trying to recruit new members. That's correct. He's also a member of the Huntsville Police Department Citizens Advisory Council. Welcome back to the broadcast. Thank you. Thank you, Kenny. It's a pleasure to be here today. It's good to have both of you guys. This is a time of year we, where we get really excited about this celebration dinner. It's actually uh, the annual celebration dinner and awards dinner because you kind of have two things going on in this case where we eat, we break bread together, but we also affirm the value of some people that are making a difference in the community. Right. Tell us first of all though about why we're celebrating. Talk about the IMS. IMS is really an incubator organization. It started between Jewish and Christian brothers and sisters to address the social justice and back during the civil rights movement, which of course that the paved the road to all of us to bring us where the site is today. During this journey, it, and it transfer all this faith in action <clears throat> by addressing homeless, poverty, faith in the public arena, social justice, addressing critical issues, predatory lending, um, poverty in the school, uh, meals for the homeless, meals for the needy in food line, and started organization like CASA, CASA, which we're all familiar with it. Yes. It's now an independent organization. Yes. You look at First Stop, it's an independent organization. As a matter of fact, First Stop as well, which is one of the flagships, which I had the privilege, of course, to be associated with it, that presented to the homeless community. And it presented a very, very good nature, which it is the counselor, yeah. the counselor that bring the people to their home. So you see all this faith community get, coming together and doing it together yeah. to make the community a better community to where it is right now. And hopefully we are building on the future because when we have a safe and unity in the community, people are big in business. We, when we transfer people here to the military base, they will call us and say, do you guys have temple? Do you have mosque? Do you have, you know, Buddhian temple? Do you have a Jewish temple? We know where we are and we know what, how we serve this community. Yeah, and it's a very diverse community yeah, that is. with all of these different groups re represented and then some. And you know, Aladdin, as you're talking, I'm also thinking about the idea that you have this beautiful opportunity to actually affirm the value of every single person in this community, to actually say that everybody has worth, everybody has a right to exist, everybody has a right to believe what they want to believe but we become better as a community when we decide that we have more in common than we have that divides us. And that we can take those things that we stand on in terms of common ground, Willie, and actually make something of it. And really that's been the mission of IMS, uh, convening groups, finding ways to be able to um, enhance the quality of life for people across the spectrum of the community and leaving its footprint in a profound way. You mentioned First Stop, you mentioned CASA. These are organizations that people coming into Huntsville today will see as kind of self-existing organizations not recognizing the relationship between IMS sure. and the support provided over the years. And this is one of the consistent ways that IMS has served. Yeah, that, and, and that is so very true. Uh, what IMS does, it provides uh, direct services to those people who are most vulnerable. And when you have an organization who cares about 
those, that segment of the community, it just breeds success. It breeds a, a, an inclusive community, and that's what IMS is about. It's about an inclusive community. Working with cooperative congregations, uh, Christians uh, across different faiths to, to create a beloved community, and that's why IMS is so important. And the annual dinner is so important because those proceeds go directly to benefit those persons who are the most vulnerable. Yeah, so tell us when the dinner is and then we'll talk a little bit about some of the things that people okay. can expect who plan to attend. It's a two weeks from now, it's gonna be at UOH and it's celebration really for the community. <clears throat> IMS. G give us the date because when this airs, it may be about a week away, so just give us the date. The date will be May 2nd. Mm -hmm. It'll be at UAH beginning at uh, six o'clock. Uh, we will uh, convene there and we have had a relationship with the University of Alabama for a number of years. They have been great partners with us in that. Uh, Dolores and their multicultural office over there, she supports one of our ministry areas and that's the, the, the also a good thing about IMS because we partner with people. We can't do this alone. So there are a number of companies and organizations and academic institutions in which we partner with. Mm -hmm. So that's, that helps us to be successful by going getting those experts to help us to uh, to guide us through some of the path of those persons or, or that can't help themselves right and this will take place in the conference training center which a lot of people who are old school hunts will know as a student, student center, center the old student exactly. center yeah. exactly. in the exhibit hall and of course it's going to be a great night because this is an opportunity once again as i said to say thank you to some people oh to say oh, thank absolutely. you absolutely you have a speaker uh, coming, Dr. Greg Barsh, and mm -hmm. I can call him doctors a medical doctor, I can call him doctors a PhD. I mean, this guy's pretty heavy, obviously. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he comes from Hudson Alpha Institute of Technology says a lot in itself. Sure. But his presentation is titled, The Genetics of Human Diversity. That just kind of blows me yeah. away. Yeah. I can't wait to hear what he has to say. And I think the community will be very interested in that because it, it talks about more similarities than there are differences. And that's kind of what he's going to talk about around those ideas around that. He is a, uh, a, a researcher at Hudson Alpha around this topic. And so there has been a lot of research around this. And so I think what he will bring to us will be some valuable information that people can start to see and value the similarities there are within each other instead of the differences. And that sometimes drives us apart, yeah. the differences. And so I think he will be a great speaker and we are looking forward to it as well. And this is a great opportunity for me to share something that I share. I do a lot of diversity and inclusion training, which I've been doing for almost 25 years now. But I always find an opportunity to share this statement by the late astronomer, Carl Sagan. He wrote a book called Shadow of Forgotten Ancestors. He said in this book, quote, and I read this many years ago, just kind of blew me away. The human differences we see on the outside that we spend so much time evaluating, size, skin color, eye shape, hair texture, are not matched by differences on the inside. In fact, every person on Earth shares 99.9% of it. the DNA. Of the same DNA <laughs> Absolutely. That's Absolutely. a pretty big number. I'm not a good math guy, but that looks like a pretty big number in terms of 100%, 99.9%. All humans, no matter how ethnically diverse, are essentially identical. We're all cut from the same cloth, made on the same pattern, granted the same strengths and weaknesses, and ultimately share the same fate. And wow. by, the wow. same, by the same creator, sharing the same earth, having the same aspiration, having the same hope. And when we get together as people of faith, or even people of different culture, or people of different race. This is human. We are not, human beings. We are not compromising our faith. Yes. As a matter of fact, when you do an interfaith work, in order to do it, you have to have a strong faith because what we're doing is we're presenting the best of each other to one another. Absolutely. And we're acknowledging the commonality and agreeing on the, on the differences, but while building together for a better future. That's mm -hmm. right. And accepting those differences as a reality of somebody's experience while not imposing what I believe on somebody Absolutely. Else. Very important Absolutely. because the thing about it, as Aladdin has said, we don't ask you to check your faith at the door. Mm. Well, we want you to bring in what you believe because we believe what's in your heart is good. Yeah. And so we just want to work together yeah. to build a better community for all people. That's right. And that's really what this is all about. Mm -hmm. The IMS works tirelessly throughout the year, convening groups of people, uh, supporting various conversations on race, 
uh, and bringing people together around the question of interfaith activities and processes, um, talking with various uh, faith congregations and yes. other individuals, oh, yes. partners throughout this community who stand alongside you in this great cause. And the cause. friendship and the love that you establish doing this work yeah. It's priceless. It just is. Yes. You network, but not only you network. There is no expectation. Yeah. It's just a matter of loving one another yeah. to do something good for everybody. Yeah, and you know, I, I need to say this. Uh, and we've got only about three minutes left, so I've got to be careful here. Um, just recently, you had an incredible event that I was taken out of town for. I wasn't able to make it. I'm sorry, but it was Meet you. Your Muslim Neighbors. Yes. It was absolutely, it's absolutely an example of how beautiful this community is. We open our home and our heart in Huntsville Islamic Center and we invited the community to come and celebrate with us, look at us in the eye, ask the good, hard question, the easy questions, and get to meet us as a human being. And we all have a great time. We have about 600 people mm. with children, people with children, mm. business owners, ministers, it was a beautiful great event. celebration. It was great a great event. event. It was well attended. And thank you, everybody who attended. And we look forward to see the one who couldn't attend in a future event. Indeed, okay. indeed. Okay. And it won't be my first time showing up. Oh, no. You're, 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 you're are right. Absolutely, uh, sir. Big support of the work that's and done we there. Are, and we the are privileged. Yes, We're privileged. And, and I am as well. And you know IMS that. and Brother Willie. I mean, th th that's, that's a prime example of the love and support That's right. that you gain by doing this work. That's I had right. the privilege yeah. of meeting Mr. Welly, Chuck Vade, and yeah. Basie, yeah. and the yeah. people yeah. who yeah. sacrificed for this organization. Yeah. There really are some great right. people in this community, and I want to give Willie one last, one last opportunity, I should say, to tell us again, how can people get more information about yeah, this? Yeah, and I think it is a very important, and if you would allow me, I just want to mention a couple of things about the dinner. Please. Our theme is diversity is our destiny. Mm. Diversity is our destiny, so we want to make sure that you come out and embrace uh, an inclusive a, a, as the key to this beloved community of our future. Uh, again, it will be May 2nd at the University of Alabama, and you did talk about, in Huntsville, and you did talk about the, uh, the, the persons who will be recognized at that event. Very important. Yeah. So we have four awards that will be recognized. They will be the uh, Rabbi Ballin Interfaith Award, oh, Temple B'nai Shalom, and the Huntsville Islamic Center mm -hmm. will be receiving that award. Okay. Uh, the Charles Ray Jr. Uh, Social Justice Award will be given to Pat McKay, who is involved in uh, human, human trafficking. trafficking. No. That's right. And the Marilyn Mabry uh, Award. Uh, uh, that's the Racial Harmony Award. And we're proud to give this to Captain Jeffrey Rice mm. of the uh, Huntsville uh, North Precinct, mm. as well as the Interfaith Mission Direct Service Award, which will be going to Phoenix Industry for mm. the work that they have done throughout this community. So we're, we're really excited about what the committee has done for uh, this event, which will take place again May 2nd, at, starting at 6 o'clock. But people like Jane Chandler, who's on the committee, uh, people like Jeannie Robinson and Chuck Verdane and Fred Sayers, these, they, along with the other 30 or so congregations that we have, are, are pushing to try to have a great event on May 2nd. Yeah. And if you want ticket information, you can always go to the IMS website. That, that website, you can get ticket information from there or you can call the uh, Interfaith Mission Services office and tickets will be provided or you can get tickets there. Do you and have that number? Do you have the website? I think it's interfaithmissionservice.org. .org, exactly. Uh, no, it's IMS at knology.net. Oh. IMS oh, at knology.net. 256-536-2401. All right. And individuals and congregation tickets are available. Okay, If fantastic. you're one, come and you'll be among many who loves you. Yeah. You know, I'm just blown away by that slate of honorees. Yeah. I mean, I can't think of a finer slate of honorees in yeah. this community to Very receive diverse. this award. And there have been some great honorees over the years. IMS always seems to give a lot of thought to that process. Yeah. And the fact that some of those awards are named after some of our greatest mm -hmm. community citizens yeah. over the years um, is just a tremendous tribute uh, that, um, you know, it's just going to be the place to be. Again, May 2nd. Uh, you can get information at IMS at knowledge dot net. Dot net. Uh, that, now that sounds like that's actually an email address, isn't it? Uh, at at knowledge.net or yeah. www.interfaith.org. 
uh, missionservices.org. There we go. All right, right. good. WWW, w- thank you, Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. Interfaith Mission Service. Org. Org. Wheels just yeah. started right. turning now. Right. So, okay, good. I think we're back uh, on right. track. What a good team. What yeah, a good team. What a good team. And the number again, and the number again is 256 536 2401. Dr. Ladin Bashir, once again, uh, I can't say enough about this man and the work that he does to this community and what he means to me personally as he has befriended me for so many years now. Good to have you on the broadcast. Thank you, sir. I'm privileged and blessed to know good people like you. Willie Love, the same thing for you. Thank blessed you, sir. to know you and uh, fortunate to be able to work alongside you in this community in many capacities. Thank you, sir. All right. I want to thank you for being a part of our conversation today. I get energized with these kinds of conversations. Mm-hmm. All this great information that's flowing. How can you not be a part of this event? We want you to come out on May the 2nd and actually get the information beforehand. You can go to that website at www.interfaithmissionservices.org or the phone number at 256-536-2401. Thank you. That's my team working off camera there. I hope that you've enjoyed the broadcast today and that you will take an opportunity to like our Facebook page at Impact with Kenny Anderson, where you can see a video of the show that you just watched, as well as see some behind the scenes shots of what happens once the camera stops rolling. For Impact, I'm Kenny Anderson. Have a great day.